Hey guys, I'm Jim and this is Chris. We're with the uh, Tangle Tackle Fishing Team and today we're going to talk to you about creating your own salmon trolling flies. Chris, can you tell us a little bit uh, about the process and why somebody yep. would want to try and tie their own? Absolutely. First off, I want to thank uh, Tangle Tackle Sport Fishing for letting us in at our shop today. That's where we are right now. Uh, we're in Mast beautiful Masty, Michigan on a, on a cold November day talking about fishing when I actually wish we were out fishing. If uh, you ever need anything in Massey, I just want to say come on down and see Bud here at Tangle Tackle. He's got everything you can want. So I want to say thanks to him for letting us in here today and for everything he's done for us over the years. Sure. But talking about uh, fly tying, I got into it about 10 years ago um, for, for multiple multitude of reasons. One, I just thought it'd be cool to, to be able to make something on my own that I could take out on the lake and fish might actually want to bite. And, uh, the second thing was cost. Flies are getting a little more expensive these days. You go out and you buy two or three of them, four of them, you're spending $20, $25 at a shot. Um, where you can get your own material through Purple Taco Fly Supply, and you can make flies for a fraction of that cost. You know, third thing was the availability of the flies at the stores. If I'd go to a store um, and it didn't have exactly what I wanted or what I thought I wanted, I was able to go home and create what I wanted or what I thought might you know, be a, a good presentation for the fish. Okay. Now, is this something that's pretty easy to do, or is it something you really have to, to practice? No, no, it really doesn't take long to get really pretty good at it. Uh, a couple times for me, and I had it down pretty pat. Uh, Purple Taco makes uh, fantastic banded fly material. By banded, I mean that uh, at the top there's a cutout where it's solid, and then it has the streamers behind it. Using that, and I'll get into that a little bit more here later, but using that banded material really makes it easier for the tire. Um, and, and it, it'll, in contrast to some of the other fly tying material, it's, it's really tricky to work with if you're not familiar with it. The banded material is really what you're going to want. So if you have that material, some tape, some scissors, some bullet heads, and some string, and some uh, glue or nail polish, uh, you're really you're there. So for a, a low cost, you can sit down all winter long like I do and like you do and, and tie as many flies as you want and you know, get ready for spring. Excellent. Well, it's. Uh Let's see how just how hard this is. Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about the fly tying process right now. All the material that I get comes from PurpleTacoFlySupply.com. It's right here in Michigan, down in Charlotte. Leroy and Debbie Dowding are great people to work with. Uh, if you go on their website, PurpleTacoFlySupply.com, you'll see everything they have to offer. Uh, if you've got any questions, they have a contact page, and they're happy to hear from you. Really good people. Um, they have all sorts of different material. They have so many colors I couldn't tell you right now. I, I couldn't name them if, if I was paid to. Um, they come in 2 inch, 4 inch, and magnum. The 2 inch uh, is obviously a 2 inch length. This is the standard 4 inch length, and then the magnum is a 6 inch length. Uh, the 2 inch can be used for peanut flies, trailers, uh, things of that nature. Somebody's got cold. Um, the 4 inch is what's most standard on the Great Lakes for salmon trolling. That's what we use mostly on our boat. But I tell you, in the fall, six inch, le uh, six inch length um, for fly material could be fantastic for some bigger fish. Um, so uh, think about those things when you want to tie your flies, what you want to use. Today we're going to be using the four inch length primarily. This is the four inch length standard. This is a purple holograph. And on the back, it's easier to see what I'm talking about when I say banded fly material. The band is up here at the top where you can see that the material is cut all the way up to the top, but then there's that band left over, which allows you to work much easier with this fly. So today I'm going to be using the purple, I'm going to be using some yellow UV, some blue green, um, and also some mirage. And we're going to start off talking about just a single color fly, um, no other colors, one color only, um, which does have its purpose on the Great Lakes. So bullet heads, are these right here and these are also available through purpletacoflysupply.com this is what you're going to need we're going to start with a bullet head a piece of the purple material, the purple holograph and a piece of masking tape and what I like to do is I like to have a surface that's pretty clean uh, a plastic surface works really well a phone book I've used before is something that the tape's not going to stick to too greatly it's going to allow you to work with it a little bit easier so half inch piece of clear tape I peel it off till it's just a little bit longer than the fly material on both ends. If it's a little longer than a quarter inch or a half inch, not a big deal. So what I want to do now is I find that banded area, and you can see it right through there where the material's not cut. 
and I want to take that tape and I want to put it right down on that the bottom of that banded area. I pull it up. I'm going to take my bullet head in my left hand. I'm right-handed. It's easier for me to go left-handed bullet head, right-handed material. If you're left-handed, it might be easier to do it the other way. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my tape. I'm going to start it right down at the bottom of that inside of that bullet head, just so it sits just below that ridge. And I'm going to start winding that around. As I do that, you can see where that band is. I'm going to make that band follow along that ridge line. And you can see that fly start popping out like a spider leg. So I'm going to move that around. And just keep moving it around slowly. If a couple pieces of that material get caught up in the tape, not a big deal. Just keep moving it around so that band stays right along that ridge line. You can feel it. I can usually feel it with my right thumb. Keep working that around. Again, this is a single color fly. It's just the purple color only. I get to the bottom. I take that tape. I finish up wrapping. Fluff it out. And I did it the opposite side so you could see again on the silver side how that banded material falls right down into that groove. So this would be your fly right now. Obviously, like I just said, I did it opposite so you could see. But if I wanted purple out, I just would have turned it over. So once I have that, that's my fly pretty well done. Take my scissors. Trim off the tape. I recommend getting a good pair of scissors, some good sharp scissors. Maybe a couple pair because they will get dull after a couple times or a little sticky from the tape. Now you have the option here of a couple things. Right there, I fished them before just like that and I've never had them come apart. But in the last few years, I've started tying them along the bottom just for added security. So what we have here, Miracle Thread or Magic Thread, sold at almost any fly tying or sporting goods shop. This stuff's real easy to use if you're not comfortable making a half hitch or a, or a knot or a normal fly tying knot. The real fly guys out there are probably gonna roast me on that. I'm sure I just said something wrong. But uh, this Miracle Thread works really easy for this. What I like to do is I just pinch a little bit under my thumb right along that ridge. And as I pull, I stretch and then I wrap. And I stretch and then I wrap. Put a couple good wraps on there 20, 30 times. Stretch and wrap. Put my thumb down, break it off, and it'll stay right there. A lot of times it'll do that, it'll unravel a couple times, not a big deal. Tighten it back up. So now we have that. It's going to unravel a little bit. Some clear nail polish. Take it around that thread. And once that dries, all you got to do is trim that thread. And your fly, your single color fly, is done right there. That's a single color fly. We're gonna get into a multi-color fly next. Again, we're gonna make a three color fly this time. We're gonna be using the colors that purple holograph again. And if you do have a silver side, make sure that you put that purple down or that primary color down. We got a blue green crinkle and then we got uh, a mirage crinkle. So talking about your colors uh, when it comes to your flies, if you're doing a multiple colored fly, you always want to make your primary color sitting to the left of you. So if I'm looking down at it, again, make that primary color to your left. And by primary color, I do mean that when you tie this fly, that color will, will, is what will be on the outside of that fly. So it's going to be the most pronounced color um, on that rig. And then your secondary and your third colors, it's really up to you whatever you want to choose to do. I chose these colors because they're pretty contrasting and it's going to be a little bit easier to see on the video. But Purple Taco has a multitude of colors that you can choose from and really it's up to you what you want to tie um, what you think might be best and that's kind of half the fun it's it's not kind it is half the fun figuring out what you want to make and from what i understand from purple taco they're going to be putting up some uh, fly tying recipes uh, before too long which you can actually go on the website see the colors that are are working for some fishermen um, have worked in the past uh, and you can use that uh, guide 
uh, to for for your own fly tying needs as well. But again, use your own imagination. Have some fun with it. Uh, like I said, there's nothing funner than or, or better than going out and catching a fish on something that you made. So. Here's our banded material again. We're gonna start with this one as our primary color. Again, to my left as I'm looking at it. I'm gonna take my secondary color and I'm gonna lay that band down just so it's riding just below my first color. So it's like a step down. And my third color, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna lay it right down onto that second color, again, like a step down from my left working down to my right. And it, how much you want to overlap your colors, that's up to you as well. If you overlap them so it's pretty tight, you're going to have a you know much more uh, vivid fly pattern. I like overlapping like I did right there, so there's maybe an inch, three quarters of an inch overlap on each material. So I'm going to take my tape, get an eyeball measurement. A little bit longer than the fly, or a little wider than the fly material on both sides. And what I like to do is I find my third color, which is over on this side. I lay it right down on that band, pull it up till I get to that second color. And now I have that tape where it's running right along, almost right along the bottom of that band as I'm looking at it. If it overcomes down a little bit, and that one is just a little bit, not a big deal at all. That's fine. So now you're able to pull up all three colors because of the overlap. Grab a bullet head. You see I'm a little bit longer uh, than a half inch or quarter inch so on my start side, so I'm just going to trim it down a little bit. Grab my bullet head, and this is a glow bullet head, still available from Purple Taco. Now I'm going to start that tape right along that ridge line again on that bullet head. Work that around, and now using my right hand, I'm going to start pulling that around so that that band, again, follows right along the ridge of that bullet head. Real easy to do. It'll take you a couple tries um, to really get it down, but once you do, I can make about one fly about every five minutes. So we're coming around. Again, you're gonna get some material, probably it's gonna pop up on you a little bit from time to time. Not a big deal, just keep working. As you get your second and third colors, just keep finding that ridge, pull it around. Pull it around. If you're able to, pull some of the colors down. They might pop off. Keep coming around until you get to the back of that tape. Snug that tape up nice and tight along that ridge. I can feel it's right there where I want it to be. Turn your fly over. And there it is, your finished trolling fly. Now you can see that purple really stands out on that along with the green and along with the mirage as well. And if I was to use a longer piece of purple, you'd really see that that was the primary color. You can still see it now. You can see that that's the foremost color. And then my, my blue green and then my mirage. But really it's up to you how much length of material you want to use, uh, how much overlap you want to use, um, and then make it the way you want to make it. That's, that's the fun of it. So now that we have that, come back to our back side. trim off that excess tape. Now be careful here, I, what I like to do is I like to put two cuts into it, one on the front, one on the back, and then I'll work my scissors around it. The reason I don't like to just go in and snip it right off is sometimes it'll fly right off and end up right back down here in my material, and then I got a chunk of tape in my fly, and that's uh, it's not a fun thing to try to get out of there. So we have that, and again we can use the magic thread, or magic um, miracle thread, that's called, or magic thread. Or you can use a fly tying bobbin, uh, which is what I primarily use as I've gotten a little bit more fluent at tying these things. I do like using this. Uh, and I don't really need to show this. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's just a matter of going around that fly, you know, 20 or 30 times. And this does allow you to put a little more tension on your on your thread. I think it does hold it. What I try to do is you can see I, I'd like to snug it right up into that ridge of that bullet head. Once I get done with that, put a couple of knots on it. And I'm not going to get into much on these knots. There's tons of videos out there on YouTube 
on how to tie these. Now I'm going to get a couple pieces of that fly material in there. Not a big deal. Not a big deal because it's going to trim right off. Trim that down. And again, then I would use my clear nail polish. A lot of people, I don't know about a lot, but I do know of people out there that use super glue. Um, I prefer the nail polish. It's just what I've always used. I'm sure there's pros and cons to both. I just take it around one time around. And I usually let my flies sit about 20 or 30 minutes so I know that they're completely dry. Or if I'm tying up a bunch of them, I'll let them sit overnight and then uh, come back in the morning. So that right there is your finished fly. You can take that out right now. Run a rig behind it. What we like to run is usually four to five beads behind it. Uh, if it's tournament tied rig, maybe only two or three beads and into a, you know, a, a single octopus hook and then a treble. Um, the beads, I just have a couple here. Purple Taco carries everything you could want as far as beads and colors. This is just a small sampling of what they have. They have UV beads, cat's eyes, glow, frosted, you name it, they've got it. Uh, PurpleTacoFlySupply.com, great people. If you need it, they're going to be able to get it for you in any amount that you need to. They cut all their own stuff right in shop, right in Charlotte, Michigan. So it's nice to have a local company that will take care of you like that. So that's it on the fly tying. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me at christangledtackle at gmail.com. It's, it's all one word. christangledtackle gmail or at gmail.com. I'm happy to talk to anybody about anything. If you need some help with some fly colors or some fly coloring ideas, let me know. Uh, I'll let you know what works for us on the Tangle Tackle boat. Um, We've had a lot of good experience tying our own stuff. And again, if you're in Manistee, come down and see Bud here at Tangle Tackle. Um, if he doesn't got it, <laughs> he'll, he'll order it for you, I'm sure, which is probably what he tells most people. But he's got a great selection here. Um, so thanks to him for letting us use the shop here and for everything he's done for us over the years. And for all our other great sponsors, thanks. But again, Purple, ta or, I'm sorry, uh, Purple Taco Fly Supply, got everything you're going to need for fly time. Thanks.